and welcome to my machine learning tutorial of probability theory of normal data distribution. This data distribution is also known as a Gaussian data distribution. So this is what I've arrived with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together another type of this very data distribution so that you guys see how to put something like this together. Of course, the mathematician have their own theory and how it's done and so on. But I'm just using Python to show you guys how to put something like this together. So for your information, this is machine learning normal data distribution. So let's give that a try and put another one of these bell curve together. Let's do that. I'm going to exit out and I'll come straight here. Let's open start a new program. All right, guys. So let's start. Um, first of all, I'm going to import number pi. Or well, I will expect you guys to have uh, installed number pi straight into your system. Then I will also import map plots lab. I'm going to import that as plt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare, let's assign x, and I'm going to say number numpy dot random dot normal. So this is a function that they have on the system anyway. So I'm going to then say 10.0 comma. I'm going to go for 7.0 as well. Then I'll make this about 50. And come right down here. Now you guys will see what's going to happen to my probability theory. The distribution of the data how it's going to look like with what I have up here so this is not meant to be that's just meant to be one so now let's come back in here and I'm just gonna say plt dot Instagram so it's that is how they use it there x equals I'm gonna make my x equals let me go for 100 and see what's going to happen with 100 and here I have 50. Let's see what's, what's going to happen. Now, I'm just going to print that out and I'm going to say plt.show. That's all. Okay, let's just enter parentheses here and up here that, that was supposed to be dot pi plot. There. I think that should do it. So I'm going to save that and let's run it and see what we've done so far let's see oh there we go look at that so you see the distribution how that looks like so what I'm going to do now is let, let's see here we have in 21 and the y is 0 0.9 there okay if we come here let's see the the frequency so we're talking about six and one there. Okay, let's come back in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just enter a title in here. So I'm going to say pl dot title, and my title is going to be let's just call that machine learning dash. Normal data distribution. Data distribution. There we go. There. And I'm also going to enter the title for the y axis and the z axis. So y axis, let's say y label. And I'm just going to call that the frequency. close that and for the z axis I'm going to call that let's just call that is called there we go there 
now you saw the distribution of the, the why when I run the program you saw the last distribution so let's see now the game there we go that's how it's looking at so let's assume we increase the value that we have in here I'm gonna make that 500 let's see what's gonna happen with 500 and let's see the frequency how that's gonna look like you see that okay and just for your information in probability theory this type of uh, data distribution is known as a uh, normal data distribution so supposing let's increase that if i increase that let's see what's going to happen as well let's see i want to see if i can get, oh that's that's looking good let's convert it to a bell curve that's fifty thousand and let's see what's going to happen with fifty thousand let's see now there we go look at it it's just like a bell curve and that's the nickname for it anyway add another zero make it 500,000 and run there there we go guys look at that so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and I suppose you guys enjoy it so let me just show it to you again minimize this those are the lines of codes I made that up for you okay and here you see my title and you see the the type the frequency and the score okay so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it i'll be back with more tutorial on machine learning have a nice one guys bye for now